thereby listening to what he said alongside other leaders yesterday in reacting to those events of Sunday when UDA um, or other ANC and Fort Kenya uh, appeared to join hands with UDA in that uh, sitting. Listen. My brother Musalia just acted in a manner typical of uh, a suicide bomber. He threw a bomb but did not realize that that bomb was wired on him. Okay, that is uh, one uh, Kenneth Marende, former uh, Speaker of the National Assembly. And yesterday he announced that he's decamping from ANC to DAP Kenya. It's some of the aftershocks that are happening. Then let's listen to what uh, Kalonzo Musioka and some leaders there said on <coughs> the decision by Musala Mudavadi to go the way he did. Okay. Ajasema kama ametoka huko. Sasa yeah. aliyetangaza jana ni mwenzake akasema wataenda sijui Rift Valley hapo akitoka hapo wataenda Nakuru wataenda wapi? Yeye yeah. mwenyewe hakusema. Hata hivyo Tukio la jana limeweka njia sawa sawa. Yaani yeah. 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 never na I think my other friends were causing traffic jam. Yeah. Jam imeondoka. Sasa ni kundi direct. Oh, All right, Kalonzo Musoka saying there that uh, traffic jam in Miondoka. But uh, what are the other leaders saying, the opponents that is that are outside One Kenya Alliance? Want to listen to some of those, including one Jeanette Mohammed, who uh, spoke during a meeting of Raila Odinga as they were touring Muranga County. Listen. <laughs> Yeye yeah, anataka kufanya muungano na boda boda na mama mboga. Jana ndio nimegundua sasa mama mboga na boda boda ni Musalia na Wetangula. <laughs> sasa hao ndio boda boda hapa Kenya. Hmm. All right, so that's Jeanette Mohammed, and so many reactions are coming. I'm calling them, we are calling them the aftershocks. And let me begin with you, Fred Okango, because um, you speak for One Kenya Alliance. And we saw your statement shortly after that event um, that you decided to walk out and you said that you cannot work with them because they are working with people who are not your friends and you're un unsafe in their hands. So uh, what progress have you made since that day? And is it tr truly that you had no idea that <coughs> Musala Mudavadi and uh, Moses Wetangula were headed this direction? Uh, thank you, Sam. Uh, first of all, I would want to congratulate Honorable Salem Davadi, for having joined hands with his new partners, and we wish him well in his, in his new marriage. We are told uh, they have uh, uh, gone for honeymoon destinations, starting in Nakuru, all the way western, and they'll finish their last destination in Central. I hope a third wife will not come somewhere along the way. <laughs> but be that as it may, we are very clear as one Kenya Alliance, and we are guided by the principle of honesty and uh, coming together and unity of the people of Kenya. We were invited by Honorable Musalem Davadi to attend his National Delegates Conference, like any other guest, and like we have done before with him in our Kanu delegates, and SKM did the same in his delegates. We honored the invitation out of respect and because he's one of us. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. after finishing our business to congratulate him, we saw signs of yellow fever. And you know, when they announced that there'll be earthquake, we realized that our principles were not safe in that earthquake. That earthquake came with an, a hurricane that was yellow in color and was dangerous for the people of Kenya. We had to evacuate our principles pronto because ideologically, we don't fit in such an arrangement. And that's why we remain friends and respect him, but we don't agree. If you read Speaker Muturi's tweets last evening, he said exactly what I'm saying. If you listened to Honorable Kalonzo Musioka yesterday, he has said exactly what Frederick Okango is saying. What we are saying, Sam, we 
have identified the weakest link. The weakest link is the link between Sugoi and Mululu. That link has been cut. And we are therefore saying, as Honorable Kalonzo is saying, the jam has been removed. We are moving forward stronger, so, Fred, better, and together. You didn't know Musala Mudavade and Moses Wetangolo were headed that direction. Some, as gentlemen and people who trust each other in a coalition that believes in unity and trust, we had to attend that invitation and honor it because we, he has honored ours before. You're not listening in to the question. His, just Did listen, you know or not? We were surprised that there was a new guest that we are not aware of. When we held a Kenya African National Union Delegates Conference on 30th September, we did invite Honorable Raila Odinga, and that guest list was made public. When Kalonzo Musioka held his delegates, he did invite Honorable Raila Odinga, and that guest list was made public. They have been using that as an excuse that our friends Invi uh, we invited our friends and we never disclosed. That is not true. We have always disclosed. In this case, mm -hmm. they did declare themselves some mm -hmm. that competitors are not invited. Okay. We were shocked to see a competitor. We didn't know that that competitor, the Yellow Fever chief, was the Mamamboga and the Boda Boda uh, chief that they have been saying they'll form government with. All right. We are wishing them the best. All right. I want us to listen to what uh, Clofas Malala said at the event on Sunday because he responded to some of the things that you're saying. Listen. Na hii earthquake leo msalia, it has already claimed two victims. Mimi nimeshangaa. Na mimi kama kijana mdogo paka mimi niongee na mimi paka niseme ukweli. Mimi nilialikwa katika kongamano ya Kanu. Vile nilienda kule kwa Kanu walialika marafiki zao. Na vile marafiki zao walikuja hatukukasirika tulikaa nao pale pale. Mimi nilialikwa kwa kongamano la Waipa. Na vile tulifika huko tulipata wamealika marafiki zao. Hatukukasirika leo mimi nimeshangaa. Ati majamaa wanakuja kwa harusi yetu wanaona tumealika marafiki ati wanakasirika wanakanyaga mguba. So, because now Senator Clefus Malala is ready for us. Good morning, Senator. And I don't know that you should celebrate by telling you congratulations. So, but I don't know what Fred will think. All the same, good morning. And why didn't you disclose to your fellow partners within One Kenya Alliance of what the move was? Because I remember last week as we spoke, you said a few things, but why weren't this disclosed to One Kenya Alliance? Uh, good morning, Sam, and good morning, my friend. Uh, Sifuna and Okango. Uh, of course, Sam, I want to agree that we did not disclose uh, the details of our National Delegates Conference to Okango because he was not at a level whereby that information was relevant to him. We informed the principals. We, my party leader personally called Kalonzo Msioka. He called uh, Gideon Moy and he called Wetangula. He briefed them on the nature of uh, our guest list. And uh, Kalonzo said that he be given some time to confirm whether he will come or not. Wetangula confirmed immediately that he will come, regardless of the guest list. Gideon Moy confirmed that he will be there. On that very day, we called them again in the morning and they said they were coming to the venue. Little did, they, did we know that they were simply coming to cause drama and embarrass our party leader on his D-Day. But that said and done, as I've said in my speech, we were invited in the WIPA National Delegates Conference. Okango is being insincere to tell us that he told us about uh, Raila's attendance. We were not briefed at that point in any way, we were surprised to see Raila Molo Odinga seated there. When Gideon Moy invited us, he did not brief us. You remember Gideon Moy even attended the Azimio La Umoja a meeting in Kasarani. We were not offended. Why were they offended when we had invited our friends? 
And I had said earlier that we were not going to invite competitors in our meeting. We did not invite Raila Odinga because we knew he was our eventual competitor. We invited Deputy President William Ruto because as I had said we were looking for friends within One Kenya Alliance and beyond One Kenya Alliance. As One Kenya Alliance is set up, it is inevitable, it is only a blind man who can who cannot see that that formation would not make government when we, was, uh, we, we were not having friends beyond uh, the borders of One Kenya Lands. And therefore, it was in the interest of One Kenya Lands to expand One Kenya Lands and bring more friends on board. And therefore, if Kalonzo Msioka and Gideon Moy believed in the uh, objectives of One Kenya Lands, bringing all Kenyans together, then on that day, they simply uh, depicted their weakness when uh, it comes to bringing Kenya together, because Kenyans are Kenyan. William Ruto is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. And therefore, it is very, very, very unfair to criminalize association uh, with uh, William Samoy Ruto, who is the deputy president of Kenya. And therefore, we are saying we are not regretting okay. our new partnership as a party. We shall take it boldly, and as we have said, that we are going to traverse this country to ensure that we market our new association. S Senator Malala, you said something that you informed the principals, um, the, the fellow principals within One Kenya Alliance of uh, your guest list. When was this? Was it on that morning of that event or days before? No, no, we, 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 of course, it, has, it, it, it had been uh, uh, in, in, in uh, both print and broadcast media, but we called them two or three days before and told them, come on, we might expect the deputy president as the chief guest during this event, but we shall confirm to you okay. when he confirms S to S us. S Senator On the D-Day at uh -huh. 9 a.m., uh -huh. I was there with my party leader when he called Kalonzo Msioka and told him, come on, my chief guest has confirmed he will be attending. He called Gideon Moy and as well he called uh, uh, Moses Masika Wetangula. And there was no problem for okay. the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya mm -hmm. attending such a gathering. S Senator, I hear you. So you say that 9 a.m. 23rd of January, a call was made to confirm. But when was the f information first revealed to them? What date? I, I think two days before the, 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 the event, because we made that list uh, at two days. On, on 21st, on Friday. Okay. On Friday, before the event, we had already communicated to all the principals and told okay. them that we are expecting the deputy president and the chief guest okay. of okay. Uh, our National Delegates Conference. 21st of January. Yet, Fred, here you say that you had no information. Who, who, who is being insincere? Uh, uh, Sam, you can read from Malala's lips. You know, he's a very good friend of mine, and I know. Uh -huh. His lips tells it all. Malala is not honest. Malala himself, all the indications as a build-up towards this event was showing that they had a plan. And I'll give you two of them. One, in his event in Mumia's complex, who was the chief guest? When he was speaking in the media, he said that that event is not for their competitors. Who was the chief guest at NDC, their NDC? Was, not, was, that, was that not their competitor? When some of the Yellow Fever agents walked in, in their NDC. Look at their attire. Was that dress made that morning? These were earlier preparations. And therefore, I can confidently tell you, Sam, that at no given point did their party leader made, make contact with our principals, Senator Gideon Moy, Kalonzo Msioka, even uh, Speaker Muturi, of another guest that we are not aware of. Mm -hmm. In fact, Sam, it is not that we are against the other guests attending. No. We are against the deceit, the damage, and the destruction they were out to cause yet, to the yet, good. Yet, yet Fred, to the you, good, say, you say, oh, you say that you, you saw uh, the event of uh, Malala attended by DP Ruto. You never read the signs? We believe that as friends and as politicians and as leaders of integrity, a principle that guides Oka, we must be true to ourselves and trust ourselves. Okay, but all right. As we say, they have got the, you know, the, 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 the uh, uh, right to associate with whoever they wish. We cannot deny them that right. It is constitutional. What we are against mm. is bringing another guest 
that do not ideologically con conform with the principle of OCA. That one, right. our principles are, are against. All right, despite you seeing the signs. But Honorable Ahome, so look, um, here you are. First of all, how, how are you reacting to this? I see you smiling. You see, you see Sam, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> definitely you can see the people who are denying that it is not an earthquake are reading, they are pained, they are frustrated, and they are very angry. And you see, this is the, 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 the team that is uh, now all over yesterday saying, oh, he's of no impact, you know, the Mudavadi. Mudavadi now has been called many names mm -hmm. by the same people who are saying that they would want integrity, they want to allow freedom or, you know, of, of speech, of movement, of association. And that uh, indeed they, 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 they value the principle of integrity. Some of the names I saw them calling uh, Mudavadi don't uh, agree with the, the principles that they are espousing or they have been espousing. In any case, One Kenya Alliance, if we were to just take that word on the face value, mm -hmm. means that you should reach out as many friends, as many Kenyans as possible. And I believe the Deputy President then would, would, would not be really the last on the line to look for if you are building an alliance to take over government. Mm -hmm. So I don't see what is the biggest problem here or the big problem here. Obviously, their relationship had too many caveats, and it is possible that Mudavadi did not uh, know that he, he was within a very stringent caveat that did not allow him <laughs> some specific friends, but he, he you know, the, there are other friends that he can, uh, he can associate with. I, th I see again deceit, and you know, he himself, if I were to, to read from the statement of Mudavadi, he talked about deceit, mm -hmm. he talked about um, trust deficit of the people he's uh, working with or the people he has even been working with, especially the people he has been in alliances with before, mm -hmm. political alliances. So, so but, on- but, but when did these discussions begin, UDNA and C? I think you don't wake up one morning and attend an NDC, an NDC meeting of another political party, even call them competitors or people in the same platform, political platform. So obviously there is uh, some work that had gone into, and, and even them they know that the, the NDC was being prepared. Obviously OCA was an automatic uh, guest, I, I mean OCA partners or principles, in my view, mm -hmm. were automatic guests, obviously waiting for the list of how many you can be able to bring. Because again, it's not your NDC. You can't bring the entire fraternity. Some are even now arguing about how many guests, how many cards <laughs> they got, and how many cards we got. You see, obviously, we, we are a, a bigger, in, I mean, Kanu cannot expect, even if we were to go by guests, they wouldn't be able to bring the number of members of parliament uh, as can the member of parliament that uh, UDA would bring. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, that is already demonstrated elsewhere. So, so, you're, so you're, we, I would say answer. like, for example, uh -huh. I, I, I mean, that I was aware maybe like, I was aware and I'm aware negotiations had started long before maybe maybe the whole of uh, January, even December. You even saw Marara also, a very key member uh -huh. of ANC, attended Eldoret uh, rally. William Ruto also attended uh, the, I think, the soccer, tona a soccer tournament for Marara. This, these are signs, unless you are not also very sharp or observant. <laughs> the, this, I mean, so it, it could have, you know, you don't, <laughs> I don't know. I think then they are asleep. Some <laughs> hear, of them could be asleep. Right, I hear you. And, and so, so I personally was aware that there are conversations and discussions. Okay. But you see, I, I mean, this, they have not been concluded. Even from the statements of mm -hmm. Davadi uh, on that day, because he was really the key guest. Mm -hmm. And it is um, obviously very bad faith. If you are my guest, you have come, then you are you feel bad about another guest uh, instead of asking wh what is happening and you don't, you don't walk out. If you are a genuine friend, you don't walk out. Okay. Yeah, I, I because you, another guest has come. I hear come. you, Honorable Ali Sohome. Yes, Let's so, listen so. to what um, Musala Mudavadi said about partly what led him to making this 
decision. We have trouble with untrustworthy persons before, and even when we have given them another chance to redeem themselves, they have failed miserably by returning to their old mischief. It is true, after all, that bad manners die hard. We shall no longer countenance the company of those who cannot be trusted. No, never again. The ANC stand, which I am privileged to pronounce, is that the specter called as a meal is not an option when it comes to partnership. We have had enough of these self-preservation schemes to mechoka. Enough is enough to sidanganyane. We will not walk with you. Quite passionate there on uh, declaring what his position and that of ANC is. And uh, SG Edwin Sifuna, you hear him say there that uh, Azimio Laumoja is not an option for them, but also saying that they are partners that have not been trustworthy, given a, they've been given a second chance, they never change. He is speaking about ODM. And what responsibility yeah. do you take for the perception now that uh, ANC and Ford Kenya have as having been in such a deceitful relationship with ODM? Uh, you know, Sam, uh, after the events of uh, Sunday, I was one of the happiest people in this country. I was so happy I didn't know what to say uh, because uh, there is a vindication uh, from the happenings to the things that we've been telling you about. Uh, first of all, there are things that are quite surprising. You know, Alice talks about an earthquake. Uh, these things is uh, largely a matter of uh, perspective. You know, in the village, when a rich man is taking his cows to water the river, the chicken can swear there was an earthquake because to, in the world of a chicken, you know, uh, the, the, the stampede of the cows is something akin to, a, to a, 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 an earthquake. Uh, what we know is, uh, and I want to There's join, chicken here. I want to, I want to join uh, issues with uh, my sister Alice, that in fact, if you are a keen political observer, these are things that you should have known. It was not a surprise. Uh, she puts it at January. Some of us uh, even shared with you the clip from 2018 where we, we, we were in the know that, uh, in fact, these uh, uh, so-called partners of ours were already in discussions with uh, the deputy president. I think, for me, the, the thing that carried the day were the, the small, small ironies of the day when somebody is talking about uh, not joining the train of lies and deceit and so on and so forth, yet his partners uh, <laughs> in one Kenya alliance are crying about the same, very same thing. We will have time to discuss the naivety of uh, the other Oka principles uh, for not knowing that this was going to go down. But really, the question of the day is, how sneaky are you as a friend to try and pull something like that on your colleagues? Mm -hmm. uh, and yet Malala is lying to us here that it was uh, broadcast in the print media. When Raila <coughs> attended the, the, the wiper NDC and even the one at, uh, of, of Kanu, in fact, the press called me as SG of ODM and I confirmed a day before that Raila would be attending. And it was actually in the newspapers. Uh, with the ANC NDC, the only thing that was in the newspaper is the people who were not invited. If you remember, there was a screaming headline there that Raila is not invited, as if he had asked them to invite him. So the small, small ironies, uh, when people are lecturing us about corruption and they don't have the guts to even just turn their necks to see who is in their midst. When you talk about uh, deceit that, uh, you know, they have accused Raila of going to the handshake alone, mm -hmm. uh, and yet they essentially have been negotiating behind their partner's backs with the UDA, and uh, they never told them that this is what is going to happen. In fact, I, I believe that the biggest protest from the Oka uh, partners is not that William Ruto attended. is that there was an entire deal and discussion concluded without them. And all the time, they are lying to, uh, you know, uh, Musali is lying to his partners that they are together in Oka, that there's going to be a third force and so on and so forth that is going to be all the way to the ballot. There were other small ironies. Eh? that uh, they were actually, their, their, their choice of song was quite interesting. Mm -hmm. This is the first group of people to sing Luere at their own funeral. I was quite impressed. <laughs> then, <laughs> there's the question. Why, why do you call it funeral? Yeah? Why do you call because it Because this is the end of Musalia Mudavadi. How and, so? And, 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 uh, and, and uh, Moses Wutangula. Because you see some, and you can tell from uh, 
the the people running away you know like they say when you see rats jumping out of a ship you know that ship is going to sink every person who was identifying with ANC in Western Kenya is now running away from ANC because William Ruto is such a toxic politician in Western Kenya. Nobody wants to touch him even with a pole. So you will see a lot of hemorrhage from leaders in ANC. Yesterday, you have just played the clip from uh, uh, former Speaker Marende and the others. All of them are going to, to leave. You know, they say that very, there are certain things you can't hide. Mm -hmm. Those of us who are keen political observers knew this from way back in 2018. Uh, you know, but, like, but, but, like but, she but, said. But, but SG, yes. because they accuse you of being deceitful. Partly, if you look at uh, the years between 2017 and uh, now, Senator Moses Wetangula lost his seat as minority leader. As Chris Omalwa lost his seat as, I believe he was deputy minority whip. Cleophas Malala, uh, who is on set, lost his seat as deputy minority leader. There has been complaints that you are mistreating them in terms of funds until that time that you concluded the deliberations last, last year. Don't you then think that ODM really contributed to this perception that they have had and no actually actually one of the things that i will concede is that we we really wanted to shed off this baggage it was deliberate we wanted to kick them out of, them. no 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 we didn't want any associations with them because we have been in a journey with these gentlemen and we have come to see that they were more of a baggage than uh, adding value to, to make new uh, friendships very quickly with people who are worth our salt. You know, one of the things that uh, they used to uh, try and push on us mm -hmm. was that they were equal partners. Alice Wahome here has just confirmed that even when sending out invitations, the number of invitations that will go to UDA are not the same that will go to ANC because these two political parties are not the same. They are not equal partners. They will never be equal partners. If they indeed. have no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. There are some concessions that they have made. These are things we used to tell them from the start. First of all, some uh -huh. they have considered that in fact in Kenya there are only two political forces, and that you have to pick a side. For that, I congratulate them. They were pontificating here about being a third force. There is no force within ANC or uh, Ford Kenya or even the combined forces of Ford Kenya and ANC that can call be called a force. So if number two, uh, just no, 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 let me let me proceed because mm -hmm. you keep interrupting me and then I will not make my points. What we are saying is there are certain concessions that they have made. Even now, they will be told that small rivers are the ones that pour into big rivers. I can assure you, Sam, that there is no specter that sees Musalia Mudavadi on a ticket uh, with uh, William Ruto as his running mate. It is not just, it is just mm -hmm. not possible. Mm -hmm. So uh, they have it's, considered, it's, we'll talk about that. they have considered we'll talk about that, things that we have been but, telling but first, them all uh, this time, uh -huh. that in fact, there are only two forces. You need to pick a side and you stick to that side and you try and see Th that's what fine. you can contribute we'll to that side. We'll get to that. Just, yes. just hold on. But you just confirmed that whatever you did to these parties was deliberate. It was deliberate. Doesn't let me, that, just hold on. Let, let, let me tell you. then confirm that you are deceitful? It is not about party? deceit. I will give you the example of uh, Moses Wetangula that you have used. Moses Wetangula was kicked out by his fellow senators because of the disrespect that he showed them. You remember the phrase that he used uh, once, that in fact, he has no time to discuss things with him. He will just talk to the owners of a dog. That was the Waterloo of Moses Wetangula. Malala was kicked out from his position because of his conduct during the discussion on allocation of revenue. There were allegations, and I don't want to repeat them here, of money exchanging hands, and you are aware of them. Chris Wamalwa was kicked out from his position after he endorsed Ruto publicly. And he's, he's, he, he, how can he continue to hold a position in NASA when he is clear in his uh, mind that he is supporting somebody else? That is not deceit. Okay. What we do, let me tell you, Sam, mm -hmm. we as ODM made an evaluation of the people that we have worked with, and we saw no value in them. And we decided that we were going, whatever else we're going to do, if you want to conduct an, an amputation, Sam, it is not a pretty sight. Okay. But what we are happy about, and mm -hmm. I, I want to make this point, then you can continue is that in fact William Ruto is gathering all the people that we lost with. We are gathering all the people that he won with. So at the end of it, in the final analysis, you will see which the winning team is going to be. That, that, that's interesting. And uh, Senator Malala, so you hear what SG is saying here, and that, those statements that we had at the bombers of Kenya continued I mean, the continued repeats of uh, that, that relationship was, was deceitful. But then again, it would appear you've pulled the same tricks on Kanu and Wiper. Who is the saint here? Uh, first of all, I must uh, be a very happy man because I can evidently see the effects of the earthquake 
uh, on uh, our good friend Edin Sifuna. He wants to put on a brave face, but deep inside him, he is a worried man. He has a lot of panic. He has an uncertain uh, tomorrow because he doesn't know now what to do next with, uh, with uh, their, their political vehicle. Now, that said and done, Sifuna is trying to demean uh, ANC and Ford Kenya as uh, small political entities. We, we, do not, we do not refute the fact that, yes, we do not have the numbers um, in parliament just like uh, those other political uh, uh, entities like ODM and uh, Jubilee. But it must be known, and we must remind Kenyans, that we were in, a, in an alliance called National Super Alliance, whereby we agreed Raila Odinga to be the flag bearer. Naturally, when you're the flag bearer, the party in which you represent in that alliance will attract a lot of candidates and will, of course, gain a lot of seats out of you being the presidential candidate. Same to WIPA. That is why you see in the National Super Alliance, ODM got more MPs, followed by uh, WIPA, then ANC, then Fort Kenya. This was basically because of the arrangement of our principles. They got more seats out of our sacrifice. Now, when they got to their purported canon, they started demeaning us. This is the kind of mistrust we are talking about. When they went into a pact with Jubilee and uh, President Huru Kenyatta during the handshake, they did not have even the courtesy of sharing with their, their fellow principals who had fought with them all through. So uh, I want to tell Sifuna that um, you cannot continue demeaning ANC. If you so think that ANC is a small party, why are you agitated? Why are you calling press conferences everywhere, mobilizing every small village of Western region to try and, and water down the effects of the handshake? It is evident that you have uh, fallen into a panic. You are saying that ANC and Ford Kenya are very small and inconsequential parties, yet where you come from, Sifuna in Bungoma, ODM has got no single MCA. That's a lie. ODM has got no single That's a lie. MP. He, we yes. have nine MCAs even, in Bungoma. Even, even the MP representing. We have no, nine no, no, no. MCAs in Bungoma. You do in not ODM. have any member. You don't have yes. the facts, Malala. Sifuna, you do not, you do not have <laughs> any member of parliament in, in, uh, in uh, So in does Bungoma. ANC. When ANC does not Katamega. have a member of parliament in even, uh, Bungoma. Even Jubilee, even, even in Jubilee, Jubilee has got more members of parliament in Kakamega. Uh, than, uh, than ODM, and therefore you cannot start demeaning uh, 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 parties which have uh, uh, pushed you and flushed you out of Western region. <laughs> I know the bitterness you hold against our parties is that we have successfully managed to push and flush ODM out of Western, and this is now a new dawn. Our new association with our new friends are going to completely wipe out ODM out of Western. We have been operating under the chains of ODM for a very long time. We have been suffering from the political neocolonialism that uh, you have been taking advantage of for a very long epoch. But time has come that we must liberate our community, and this is the time. Sifuna, you have no space in Western region. The association between William Ruto and Musalem Davadi is going to ensure that we wipe these menace called ODM out of Western once and for all. Take it from me and take it from our okay. party that you have no yeah. space in Western region. S Senator yeah. Malala, I hear you. And as just for now, I'll give an opportunity to respond to that because now you need to take a short break, then I'll get to the, this other side of the debate because you also need to look at um, the specifics if they are available on the deal that uh, Musalem Davadi, Moses Wetangula and uh, Deputy President William Ruto will be signing. What is at stake? What are the considerations? And also we'll be asking Senator Malala what safety measures they're putting in place so that they don't suffer the same predicament they claim to have suffered in the hands of ODM. Stay tuned.